Well, hello friends. I was going to do a unboxing video, but when I got it home, the thing basically uh, unboxed itself when I set it down. So I straightened things up a little bit. This is your basic uh, Ruger. I'm not going to get too close to that serial number. <laughs> hey, if you know what I mean. <laughs> There we go. I can put my thumb over it. <laughs> but that's your Ruger. And it's got factory grips on it. I had to take the price tag off and hand it to the guy so they could have it for their shop. I closed the bolt, so... I do know it's empty. Let's see here. I'm going to set this against the wall. Hopefully it'll stay there. So you're not looking at the floor. Okay. Gotta... There we go. I locked the bolt open. Lay this back down. I even left the charging handle out so you can see that the bolt is open. And I'm going to try to get angle here. Nothing in the chamber so it won't go boom and scare the bejeebers out of both of us. <laughs> yeah, it's got the adjustable stock on it. It's kind of hard to do one-handed here. There we go. It's stamped with Ruger. I can't argue with that. Got the side adjustment tool, the child bicycle lock, the magazine, 30 round capacity, all the paperwork, but ah, uh, uh, it's pretty much the same rifle that everybody else has done videos on. So mine's not that fancy of a video. There's the flash suppressor. <laughs> Reason I think uh, I, may, I may have lost something out of the box because I had to open the box up when it was in the pickup and give the gun shop guy the tag so they'd have some more information on the particular rifle because he forgot to take it off but I do business there so I'm not going to argue ah, shot of my leather pants here ah, yep. ah, this is my very first AR so, please forgive me if I'm not all that technical on all the features of it. But, if it's anything like any of the other Rugers I've had a chance to handle or shoot, it's going to be one good target rifle. And... It's pretty solid. And who knows? I might even take a gopher or two with it. <laughs> Good joke. <laughs> Anybody have one of those uh, pop-up metal gopher targets? <laughs> but pretty much it's your basic AR. It's got the dust cover. Round, round deflector, which for the shells, your forward assist, and let's see if I can get this to do this. Hey, there it is. The pop-up sight. This rifle hasn't even been cleaned yet, so I got to clean it and eventually get some ammo for it and do some target practicing with it, sight it in. 
so I can hit the broad side of a barn standing inside of it. I don't have a rifle strap for it either, so ah, that can come later. <laughs> yep, yeah. not a bad looking little rifle. It's in the 5.56 slash 223. So it's not the most powerful round that they could put in this uh, configuration. But you know what? It's good enough for me. It's either this or a 22 variant of it. So I can go after squirrels. <laughs> but yeah, here's the 30 round mag. It's a. Uh, Gen 2, so for Magpul, Pull Mag, whatever you want to call it. Like I say, this is the first one I've owned, so I don't know all the whoop de doos. <laughs> but some people say, well, why do you need that many rounds? Well, when I do target practicing, I do target practicing. And there's where I'd need a lot of rounds. <laughs> it's a nice looking magazine. It's a plastic feed dog there. But they're making just about everything out of plastic nowadays. Anywho, hopefully I'll get a chance to do some target practicing with it and put that on video. And we'll see what happens from there. Like I said, this was almost <laughs> a box opening video. <laughs> Clumsy me! Well... Talk with you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>